painting with the purpose friends we're gonna paint this really cute bicycle with a basket of flowers so the colors that you're gonna need are white a couple different shades of green um, I'm gonna use pink for my flowers you can use whatever you want to blue gray black this is my bike color so your bike color can be any color you want to I'm gonna make mine teal and you will need a yellow and a tan. I just didn't have room for them on that tray, but I will be adding them later. The brushes you will need are your small and medium round, and then your two inch flat brush. And again, I just like to use the two inch. If you have a different, a one inch flat brush, one and a half inch flat brush, that's fine. Don't forget your cup of water and your cloth. All right, to get started, we're just gonna paint our whole canvas white. And yes, I know it's white, but we wanna get a layer of paint on there so that our sky colors mix well. All right, now that we have our white, I'm not gonna wash my brush or anything. I'm just gonna dip the tips in blue. This is a pretty dark blue, so you're not going to need a lot. So just dip the tips, and I'm going to start at the top, and I'm just going to do streaks. I'm not going to blend it in. I'm not going to add any more, and as I go down, it's going to get lighter. And that's exactly what I want. Now here at the bottom, I'm not going to wipe my brush or anything. I'm just going to dip it in this gray color. So it's just a real faint gray. Um, I might make it a little bit darker. Not too bad. Just a real light gray. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of gray in the bottom. Once you have the gray added, we are finished with our background. You can put your two inch brush in the water and we're gonna let this dry. Okay, now that our background is dry, we're gonna start on our bicycle. And for this part, just for the wheel, um, I found something that's round. This is just my scrapbooking circle. And I'm gonna go ahead and trace it. I wanna make sure that my bike wheel is nice and round. So I'm actually going to have it run off the canvas on the side and the bottom. So I'm just tracing around here. Just like that. I know you guys can barely see that. So anything round that you may have a bowl, um, the bottom of a jar, just so that your wheel is really good and round. And now with your small round brush and your white paint, we're just gonna trace that line. And this is the white wall of the tire.
All right, we're gonna let that dry for just a second. It's much easier for me if I kind of hold it. So I'm gonna hold it a little closer. is our tire. Go ahead and rinse the black off of your brush. And we're gonna start on our bike with your medium round brush. So the next size up. And my bike color is that teal color. You can have your bike color whatever color you want. I'm gonna let that black dry for just a second. Okay, now that our black is dry, with the color that you're gonna use for your bike and your medium round paintbrush, let's draw our bike. So the bike frame kind of starts down here in the tire. Our bike frame down here with my plastic end I'm gonna put a little circle And I'm gonna wipe that off 
wipe that bike color off. And with the gray, got some gray mixed up. This part of the handlebars is gonna be silver. And then rinse that off or just wipe it off. And this part of the handlebars, the part that you hold on to, we're gonna make that black. Just like so. With your small round brush, we're gonna add some details. So right at the base with your black paint, right at the base where the silver meets the bike, just do a little black line. And then right at the top, where the handlebars meet the silver, do another little black line. And then with your gray, we're just gonna add some shadow lines through the bike. So on the underneath side, And if you get too much, you can just go over it with the bike color. We gotta do one more thing. We gotta put our rim on there, or that part of the bike that goes over the tire. So with that same small round brush in your bike color, We're gonna come right over this black. Just a little bit in the front. Get a little highlight. And a little highlight up at the top, like on the top side of the bike. A little highlight on the handlebars. And with that same brush and your black paint, we are gonna do the spokes on your bicycle. And they come out of the center here. So they're just like the letter V's.
we need to do the basket. With your medium round brush and your yellow paint, we're just gonna draw a little rectangle that just kind of hangs off the like right about here. Gonna paint that in. I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna do a second coat. Okay, now that we did a second coat, get your really small round brush and your tan or brown paint. And we're gonna try to make this look like a basket. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just add little half circles, like bottom smileys, all the way across. Can you guys see those? And then like alternate, so stagger each row. Once you have that finished, rinse that off. And we're gonna start on our pink flowers. So I'm gonna start with my lightest color of pink. And we're just drawing tulips. And they're just gonna kinda hang off. And they're just like an upside down view. We're gonna add some different colors and they're gonna hang over the basket. You just wanted a couple shades darker. And then with your plain red, we're just gonna add a little bit of red here in the centers of all of them. Now for our leaves, for our flowers to kind of fill in the space. And they're just kind of gonna just kind of hang out and
there is our cute bicycle painting. I cannot wait to see what you create.